Hey guys, it's me Maddie here with another exercise video and today we're talking about the rotator cuff and I've got five isometric exercises that's going to strengthen the rotator cuff. So quick side note and why I'm doing this video today is because even in active older adults, inactive older adults, independent, dependent, the rotator cuff and the hips are usually the most injury prone, whether that be due to a fall, a slip, a wrong grab, or your hip just decides to do something crazy and you have no control, that's usually where we see the injury. So today we're gonna to focus on the rotator cuff and I've got five exercises for you. All you need is a towel and then you can sit for this or you can stand with me and then you're gonna need your arms, of course. So we have five different exercises. Number one, we're gonna call it a push forward. So I'm gonna be using my left arm and my right arm is going to be the resistor. So the right arm is going to be controlling whatever the left arm does. Now, I want to complete a motion that is pushing forward. So this motion right here from the side, it looks like this, okay? But since it's isometric, we're holding it in that position. So I'm going to be forcefully pressing against that right palm as the right resists that left arm to going forward and completing that exercise. So I'm holding for 10 seconds here, squeezing, pushing. We've got about five seconds left in four, three, resisting with that right palm. Exercise number one, complete. That was our push forward exercise. Exercise number two is going to be an external rotation. So external rotation of the rotator cuff, meaning I'm taking my arm out and in, keeping my shoulder in place, keeping my back in place just like this, I wanna resist it. So instead of going out, externally rotating, I'm going to be cupping that right arm underneath and pulling it in, not letting it go actually out into that exercise. So again, I am isometrically holding this external rotation and I've got 10 seconds left in about four, three, two, one. Go ahead, rest. Woo, how are we feeling? Shoulders a little bit working already. That's good though, that's what we want. We are building the strength back up in that rotator cuff and it tends to be a weaker muscle anyway, just in everybody, not just you specifically. Exercise number three is going to be an internal rotation. So that means I'm going inward like this, but I don't want this to happen fully. I wanna create that resistance. So I'm gonna take that right hand and push away so I'm pushing away as I'm trying to internally rotate that left arm. So again, pushing away here, holding this for 10 seconds. Both arms are gonna have to work for these exercises, but that's okay because we're getting stronger anyway. So again, I'm internally rotating isometrically and pushing that left arm away from me. In three, two, one, and rest. Woo, shake those arms out. Two more exercises left. We have an arm lift here. So. You're gonna keep that same motion. We're gonna keep that bending of the elbow, making that fist, and I want to try to complete this motion here. But again, we're doing that isometric hold. So I'm gonna take that right arm, place it over on top, and prevent that from happening. So real quickly though, before we go into this exercise, try not to let that posture suffer. So rotate those shoulders down and back, sit up nice and tall, chest proud, grab onto that left arm, try to raise it above the body, but hold. So you'll notice that the right arm has to work just as much as the left arm does. And just hold this for about five more seconds and we have one more exercise. And then we will switch arms and finish out this video. And rest. That's all. Last exercise here. You're gonna need your towel for this one. You might even be able to use a pillow, but a towel creates a little bit more of a pillow because um, you don't wanna smush what you're using. So I'm gonna take that towel and place it underneath my armpit, just as if I was holding it as something important. So I am holding it and I'm going to squeeze inward as tight as I can, pushing that towel as close to my body as possible here. So I am pulling it in and I'm squeezing again, holding it for 10 seconds. Try to drop the shoulders here, roll the shoulders down and back, chest proud. We wanna keep good form. That's what that wall is for too, to keep that strong back, strong posture in the upper body. We have about four, three, two, one. Cool beans, let's switch to the other side. I'm gonna set my towel down here. 
We now have the right arm that we're going to be using. So the left arm is going to be my resistor. The first exercise, if you remember, is that push forward. So instead of going into this exercise fully, I'm gonna place that left arm on top and prevent that from happening. We will fly by this second side here since we already know most of the exercises. So again, I'm pushing forward, but resisting with that left arm. Again, roll the shoulders down and back, chest proud, back proud. Good posture here and rest. We got through the first one, remember, it's that push forward without resisting. Your second exercise is that external rotation. So I'm trying to prevent my arm from actually completing this exercise. And instead, I'm going to pull it in and not let that happen. So I'm trying to externally rotate. I'm holding that isometric hold here. And I've got about five more seconds. And then after this, we've got three more exercises that we'll complete. And then you guys are all finished. You've got four, three, two, one. Next, you're just going to take that arm underneath you because we're preventing that internal rotation from happening. So I am basically pushing away as I'm trying to let that internal rotation happen. So using the palm of the hand, internally rotating, go ahead and complete that exercise. We've got 10 seconds of that isometric hold. Keeping those elbows nice and tight to your sides, rolling the shoulders down and back. We've got three, two, one. You guys have two more exercises and then we are out of here. So we've got that arm lift here. So keeping that same motion, the elbow bent, fist facing forward. I'm going to try to complete this exercise, but not really, because I've got that arm resisting it. So again, try to go into that exercise here and then pull down with that left. Keep good posture. Don't let anything suffer here. You guys are almost done. We've got about five more seconds. Again, focusing on strengthening that rotator cuff to prevent injuries in the future. In three, two, one. Last but not least, Place that towel underneath that arm and you're gonna try and hug it as close as you can. So shoulders down and back here, chest proud, same position of that elbow, pull it in nice and tight. You might feel that rotator cuff activate here. The shoulder is definitely working. Drop the shoulders, you guys have about five more seconds. In four, three, two, one. So we did it. Like I said, this is strengthening our rotator cuff to prevent injuries in the future. Even if you do have a super healthy rotator cuff, it is great just to do anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know, or any tips on other muscle groups that we might work on to strengthen them. I will see you later. Good job today. <laughs>